um, the trapezius um, that we've seen before. Um, we can see again from this point of view. And um, if you're sort of getting comfortable with your partner, just take a minute to kind of explore the limits of that trapezius and figure out where it ends and where the clavicle begins. Um, and then that trapezius should lead you all the way up to the occipital bone, um, clear up to about here. And if you have a partner with, with hair, as, as I do here, um, you're going to have to be gentle and not pull their hair out. Um, but we do want to find that occipital bone and the external occipital protuberance. Um, that's helpful when we get to doing massage in the area of the suboccipital muscles. So uh, I'm just going to put my hand on the front of your forehead so that you don't feel like you have to hold your head in any particular way. And then I'm just going to use my thumb to try and identify that central point. There it is. And there's, there's, a, there's a nice trench right in the middle of the neck that if you just sort of follow that all the way up, it'll just naturally lead to a conclusion. Um, and that's going to be the external occipital protuberance. Um, just below that point, there's a space, and that's where the suboccipital muscles are, are going to be. Um, the spinous processes um, of the cervical vertebrae are not particularly um, obvious visually. They are palpable if you um, get in there. But then the C7 spinous process, that's the one that you can really see and feel um, down at the bottom of the neck. Um, especially if you, if you, can you tip your neck forward? Um, then that'll really pop out. Um, it'll just mm -hmm. really be easy to see um, as well as feel. Thank you very much. Okay, so if I want to identify the transverse processes of the cervical vertebrae, I have to go into the posterior triangle in between the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius. So um, I'm going to try and work my way up this way. And finding this little gutter. <laughs> And you'll know uh, if you're hitting bone, uh, because it's harder than everything else, obviously. Um, and it's the only thing that should be there um, that, that's in that position. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. I, okay, good. I'm glad I'm not hurting you. Um, but that's a helpful landmark um, for treating all the many different muscles that attach to transverse processes. We have scalenes from the front. We have um, levator scapulae from the back. Um, and these are all muscles that are often very tight. Um, and so the, there'll be pain in the deep part of the neck um, where those muscles are attaching.